hello everyone, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. It is a beautiful winter's day, which meant it was a very cold morning <laughs> because there is not a cloud in the sky and yet yeah, cold mornings here at the moment, but that's okay. I've been out and about to a few things this morning, so thank you for allowing me to be a little bit later than normal, but still here we're still going to make some cards and today we are using the leaf collection this is a, a new to the current annual catalog uh, background stamp i got this as part of an event um earlier in the year so it wasn't something i'd normally buy i have used it and i will grab that um card out when we turn around i've got to flick through my uh, card box and find that card but I thought I would grab it out again because I haven't used it too much and I thought we can make some cards with it. So I'm thinking, hey Sharon, how are you? Um, I'm thinking of um, doing some alternative colours. So some colour suggestions would be wonderful because uh, last Thursday's cards I did uh, make cards using uh, greens so I thought I'm using leaves again so let's make them fun and I will use whatever colors you tell me to use as long as I feel they go together <laughs> no I'll um I'll take on your suggestions so give me some color combinations and um, sorry um, my fan is blowing hair into my lip gloss um what I'm thinking of doing is stamping this in each of the colours and cutting um, some of the elements out. Um, although I could do a full background card as well. So let's flip around. Let's not dilly-dally about. Um, and sorry guys, I accidentally rested my thumb on the... Uh, let's put our phone into safe mode um, button. So I hope everyone had a lovely crafty weekend. I just need to take my stand off my phone to pop this in here. So I had my class on the weekend and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, my girls in class De hey Beryl my uh, girls in class said they learnt some new things which is awesome that's um, always my aim in class is that um, people are learning things so um, these classes will be available um, really soon um, it was using the golden greenery and we did Christmas in July so what do we think about this view, guys? Is this going to be close enough? I'm hoping so. We can see everything. Sorry, I'm terribly crooked here today. My um doesn't want to play nice. There we go. I will go get the light and I will be back. Something very, very exciting today is happening in Stampin' Up! Land. It is free shipping day. So what does this mean for you? For any order over $65, um, you will receive free shipping. So that is a great saving. Love free shipping. It um, does save a bit of money and especially on those larger orders you are saving a fair bit of money which i love i unfortunately put in an order last last week because i needed products for class i needed some more of the uh, green and gold designer series specialty designer series paper so color suggestions guys uh, what colors alternative to green do you want me to use the leaf collection in? I will show you the card that I made. 
um, for my, well, I made it as a team swap and it did kind of make its way into my last class. I feel like I've gone like way too far back. So while you tell me colours, I will look for this leaf collection card. I feel like they're my doggies. Is that no? I was in the right kind of area. But can I find it? That is the very large question. Because I know there has been some upheaval in this box. So not everything is kind of in an order that I may remember it. And do you know what? I might not be able to find it at all. Because I think I'm almost maxed out. Why can't I find those cards? What class was that that I did? I don't know why I can't find those cards. Well, it was a card and I used the five in colours and it may have been an in colour class. Um, I used the five in colours and we had a lot of fun making those cards. It wasn't a, it was my butterfly class. That's what it was because it had sketched butterflies on it and do you know what I cannot find those cards I don't know where they are how rude how rude of my system not to be working well that's one of no that's not those. Mm, I'm sorry I can't find that for you. Hey Lisa, still after some alternative uh, alternatives to green to use with this collection or the leaf collection stamp. I've already used in colours with it. I did do it in a video. So that the card that I'm talking about does definitely exist in a video. Hmm, I'm very perplexed about where that might be now. And all of them. <laughs> so, um... Just having a look, I am going to grab out some colours. I have Pool Party, I have uh, maybe some Lemon Lolly, um, what about Calypso Coral? I'm just staying with the, um, the Suttles colour family here. So just wondering, do I want to add in a pink or a purple? Gold reddish pink. Okay. So if you're saying gold reddish pink, that's where I'm going. What do we think of that? Is that a bit fun? A bit random? And what I will need is four pieces of basic white cardstock. And let me guess, nope, do I? Oh, yes, I do. I have a whole heap of card fronts done. One, two, three, and four. Great. Wonderful. Love that for me that I have what I need already prepped. So we're going with white. Could go with vanilla as well. So I'm going to need to make this easiest for me. I am going to need my stamp positioning tool. Okay, this is just an old one that I use. And I'm probably going to go lightest to darkest. It won't really matter 
in what oh that's why my little foot is out and i'm missing the foot but that's okay that's sitting as nice as what it can so to stamp my backgrounds i do things a little differently than most people i put my stamp on the base of the stamp positioning tool i then take some washi tape painters tape whatever removable kind of tape that you have i take a length of it off this is just old washi tape that stampin up used to have that comes in most handy on my craft desk put my plate in or if your plate is attached on your stamp positioning tool that is awesome as well so i just want to put my piece of paper down so i may move it around depending on what areas I would like to focus on. Pop this on the back. So this means if I need to stamp more than once, I can. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, 20 kits. That's a lot. So starting with Lemon Lolly. And I'm going lightest to darkest, so it just makes it easier for me to be able to clean this off. Just making sure where this piece of paper will be. Besides the fact I just got ink all over my glass mat. Luckily, that's exactly what the glass mat is for. So, just putting some pressure down. Okay, I need to put more pressure down this edge. So we're going to end up with a fairly bold, um, bold look here. Even though they're subtle colours, they are in the bolder side of our subtle colours. So that is that one. Is the stamping perfect? Could I do another run? Yep. Am I going to? Nope. So, I just want to remove any excess ink here. And this bit up here. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. Right. That is dealt with. So from this colour, because I have used yellow, I'm actually going to go straight into Calypso Coral because then I'm using colours that are in the same family. Hey Candy, how are you? Now Lisa, did I say hello to you? Because I did see your comment. But I think I may have been mid-thought. I just want to make sure I didn't miss you. Okay. Take our next piece of paper and I kind of want to get the elements on this side this time. So pop that down like that. And I have to get this piece off here. Okay. So this piece off here, just as long as I can pop it up and down, that's great. Okay, now, Calypso Coral. So I have just wiped this off. I have, yes, I did. Awesome. Very, very happy I didn't forget you. I, I didn't just get ink all over my hand. Okay, I am just going to use a little bit of hand sanitizer here just to make sure I don't transfer ink onto anything else. But this 
give this a nice ink cup. Turn this over. Pop this down. See how we come out here. That actually hasn't come out too shabby at all. I'm pretty happy with that, to tell you the truth. Pretty happy. So this is a bit more maybe your burnt reddish that we that you were talking about earlier, Anne. Okay, now from here, I am definitely going to need to give this a proper wipe down because I'm going to go bubble bath, then um, pool party. So definitely just, I like to get the excess ink off. Then I don't get so much ink transfer onto my cleaner. So my cleaner today, because... I don't want to take this off because it's already nicely down, is my chamois. So just give this a wipe over in two directions. I've picked up a little bit of ink, but not a huge amount. I will just go over it. Again, I did not get anything up, so... Quick and easy, as always, with our chamois. So, let's pop down this. Um, probably just, I want maybe go to left, to right. Because you get slightly different elements. Because the stamp is larger. Ah, thank you, Anne. And that will dry back a little bit too. Uh, so it won't actually stay quite as dark. So pop our washi tape back there. Just, just stay, please. Okay. Pop that down. Perfect. So bubble bath now that is all dried because my um, my chamois is only damp so that is like that oh no I do need a little bit more down this side so let's just ink the whole bit Hello, Miss Lavender. Hello. How was your karate class? Very good. Very good, very good. We only did 10 minutes on kicks, so that was... Yay! <laughs> so much better than last Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm stamping all of these backgrounds, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cut elements out of them and piece them together in a card. Mm. Do I need to wash my hair? I don't know. I would. I would? Okay. Yeah, well, you said you were going mm, to, so no, no. just do it. No, I know much. it's effort. I know. So much effort. You can feel our pain. <sighs> okay, I am going to do this bubble bath again. I will intensify the colour a little, but that's okay. That's kind of what I what I'm aiming for with this second stamping and it's nice to have a couple of the brights um, or the brighter subtles in the Calypso and the Lemon Lolly and then have this bubble bath and then the nice and calming pool party. Okay. Does not want to be nice and I'm trying because these are so solid, I am trying extra hard, but that second stamping definitely helped that along quite a lot. So now all we've got is our pool party. Oh, my. Now, someone's got to remind me when I'm finished here, 
and I go to wash my towels to pop this in the towels wash because it's uh it's not too bad but it is pretty inky so while I've got a load of towels going on I thought I would do that okay so let's just give this a wipe I think that's good nothing much came up grab pop this down before we go with anything and I'm going to be able to get lots of cards out of these backgrounds and do you know what I'm almost thinking is to maybe use the bubble bath as a base and then maybe put the other colors over the top of some of the pieces I did have another idea in mind but I think that idea will work really well tell me what you think hey Marjean how are you okay so my Thursday video I'm going which is my YouTube live video I am keeping my commitment to Christmas cards but this Thursday it will be my Christmas Stampathon sample so I won't tell you what the challenge is you will have to tune in to find out um, but I thought that is what I will do. Make my Christmas Stampathon cards in a live video. Um, I kind of have an idea what I want to do, but I think we will work a lot of it out um, in the live video, which is always a bit of fun. Okay, this one is a little bit patchy. So I'll see, I think it may have been my ink application, but do I, well, I'm just going to do it again. Do it again, see if, because I can see where the ink pad lines are. <laughs> That's what's annoying me. So I try and move things around a little bit. Okay. That was a good flip. Now, I can see those really dark areas just here. So, what I will do, there we go. I have just popped those. Just gone over the ink and it kind of changed the amount of ink that was on there. So, this is actually going to be made... A little darker as well which is still going to go really beautifully uh, with our colors okay much nicer application this one here maybe this one here will definitely need covering because I'm not totally happy with the way it's stamped in the I won't be using that pool party one so that's fine. It's all good. So just let me close these ink pads. So do we like my idea of using this one as the base and then like cutting out and like paper piecing over the top? I'm kind of thinking that's what I want to do. Kind of. Okay, that piece of washi tape has served its life. Just give this a wipe down and do a proper clean with the stamp and mist and stamp and scrub after. But just get off the majority of the ink. That means if I touch something, I won't get ink transfer. That's not going to go nicely there, so I'll pop that there. Sorry, just needed to drink water there. So I could use one as the base and piece over the top, 
or I could cut out and create some patterns on a card. So I am going to leave this one and I'm going to cut out some other elements just to see where I get to. Okay, so this one's looking not too shabby. Now these shouldn't be too hard to hand cut out. And cut that corner off completely because I won't use that. Now I'm in a bit of a bodgy spot. That edge, I want to say, is a little bodgy. It'll do. But you know. So these pieces are slightly differently stamped. If you're coming in a little bit late, some are stamped to the left, some are stamped to the right. So they may not layer perfectly, but that's okay. Also, if you came in late, we are having a 24-hour free shipping offer today, Tuesday the 23rd of um, June 2024 so if you're watching this in the before midnight tonight you can take advantage of free shipping I do have my shopping link below and you still do get your bonus days offers as well which is happening this month which means you get um you get a voucher for every $90 you spend and you can spend that uh, coupon or voucher in August. So you earn in July for all orders, but the order does need to be in $90 increments. And as well as that, today you get the free shipping so you can get the best of both worlds it's all happening okay i didn't really think about this this may be a one carder but we shall see hey okay so that one is cut hey jacinta how are you long time no see Okay, so what I'm kind of thinking is this one would sit there. This is if the one idea I have works. It may not work. Or you may say, hey Ellen, I think the pool party base may work better, which is what I'm actually currently thinking the pool party base may just work better or do I want to create like a strip of the leaves going down the card I don't know oh I'm glad to have you back hey Ingrid how are you another one I haven't seen for a while lovely seeing familiar faces back so do I, because now we've got quite a number of you here, do I have a background and cover up so now you can see what I'm talking about or do I cut up some elements and have them like in a column going down the card? Tell me what you think. Now this one. I 
kind of want this little element here. This is such a lovely yellow. This is the Lemon Lolly. So I've used all subtle colours today. So we've got uh, Calypso Coral Bubble Bath. Oh, pool Party. When I flip it over. And Lemon Lolly. I just went for a random pick. Because with them being all from the colour family, or the same colour family rather, they should technically all work together. Ah, see, I haven't done this. I've only, I was saying earlier that I've only made one other card using this and I stamped these panels and cut them into strips and then changed up the strips and uh, made lots of different cards. Simple sentiment. I think I put a, um, I'm just going to cut that one out, uh, put a butterfly on it and cover the pool party, Beryl says. Okay, this is where we're going. Of course, there's going to be pool party elements that we are going to see. I've done a really hack job on this colouring in, all this cutting out. Oh, my dear word. This cutting out is a bit, how are you going? But, hey. And these pieces we can pop up as well. So you may still see a little bit of the pool party underneath. But um, yeah. So I'm going to see if I can make my hack job look a little bit better. So I'm going to show you what I mean by a little bit of a hack job. Okay, see how the edges are all sharp? So let's see if I don't pop this over, grab my bone folder, and basically what I do is I rub the edges with my bone folder to hopefully, fingers crossed, smooth out those edges so they're not so up in the air and sharp see that looks a bit better already so let's have a look at our two pieces so far so we have this one here we have this one here I'm thinking some bubble bath. Oh, see, this is where I'm going to have an issue. But that's okay. I'm just going to have to live with it. Because some of these are left and right. Because I was thinking of a different thing. But that's okay. So I can't use this one. Just let me make sure. I can do this one. I think I might use this one instead. So I just want to cover the complete piece and I chose the easiest one to cut out. Yay me. Okay, got a lot of that bulk off, so then I can just go beautifully in a line like this, get that one off, and then I'm going to come in and down. So are you liking where my idea is? Can you see where... 
I'm going. Just got to wrinkle, wrinkle my scissors here. Lucky this is just clean, swoopy lines. Now this one, I'm just going to probably, I don't think it's going to make much of an issue. No, it's not. That one's going to be like that. Okay. Just having a look of where I might like to go next. Maybe thinking this pink one in the corner up here because I don't kind of want two colours next to each other. And I can probably get a number of cards and even different style of cards out of these but we're just going to probably go for this one card today because there is so much cutting does anyone have any questions about anything stampin up any questions for me anything you've ever wondered because while i am happily hand cutting this is the perfect opportunity to um for me to be able to answer your burning questions i'm fairly open so don't feel like i won't answer your question i'll tell you if i won't answer it but you might be surprised So I've got this and I think oh, I'm trying to pop all my rubbish out of the way. I'm just going to check check this. Oh, I don't need to worry about that edge because that edge is off completely. Mum, 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 mum. I kind of wouldn't mind a larger yellow element or a lemon lolly, should I say. So I've got to line ourselves up properly. So maybe having this one down here in lemon lolly would look great. And then maybe this one over here in our Calypso Coral. I think will be our next one. So I don't know if I've quite gone for tropical colours. How would you describe them besides being subtle? I don't know, I find the yellow a little hard to see. I don't know if you guys are finding that. I know it's just uh, inherent with yellow that it's um, quite bright. I give it a good hold and just go around those curves. It's not too hard to cut out. This one's a little hard to let the paper turn because they are actually quite tight turns. I've just got a bit of a janky edge there. So fix that. You girls can all struggle with me. Okay. 
what I actually want to do is take off the weight of that and I think that will help things immensely. Okay, down into here. Great. And just pop that out. And then I've just got that tiny little bit. Now, what I do want to do, I do want to slightly cut down, um, cut down this pool party piece, probably by about half a centimetre, because I've got a bit of a bare edge at the top. So I just want to take some of the edges off. Swoop around for this one. Great. So I've got this one at the bottom. That looks great there. So we want this one here. and around just want to get that balance what I think I might do is just go all the way around here and do a rough cut first okay I think the rough cut will help me quite a bit. So no burning questions. You girls busy crafting or you're just watching my pain <laughs> okay round the corner here so it's just easier to put a straight piece there rather than try and curve into the where the two leaves meet go a little bit further than what you actually need because the blades of the scissors aren't going to be able to go down exactly where you want to be so go down a little bit further just trying to get this balance right here. Just got to work out what colour, what ratio that I actually want these pieces. Because so I kind of don't want too many um, blue, like too many of the pool party pieces next to each other either. Sorry, I'm looking and hypothesizing about what I might like to do rather than cutting and doing the doing. <laughs> Watching this is like folding washing, right. Folding washing is a task I am not a fan of. I always rope my husband in so then that way we can have half the time but really it's normally just a rough sort and the kids can put their own away could you explain the bonus days yes i can candy so the ratios and the monetaries are going to be different for each country so for australia for every 90 dollars 
you spend in July, you receive a $9 coupon or voucher. Are you kidding? Did I just cut exactly what I... Oh, no, that's okay. Don't worry, don't mind me. Um, sorry, you get a $9 voucher in your email and that voucher is valid for you to spend in August. So you earn in July and you spend your voucher in August. Okay, so if I went... See, liking that, liking that. I want this big one to be pool party. So if I did another pink there, let me see what... Oh, I don't quite have a big enough one. Do I have... I have a big enough one in this. Okay. Not quite what I was after. Now, Candy, how did I explain that? Hey, Maureen, how are you? Did I explain that clear enough? Even though I was getting distracted by my layout here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that was as clear as mud. So just while I'm tearing around this one, just uh, give me a hoi and tell me how I did with explaining that. And uh, bonus days and free shipping are two separate offers currently. So they're not, um, you don't need to put in any codes or anything like that. Um, any orders put in today, get free shipping. And if you have over $90, uh, in that order so say so say you put in two $45 separate orders in the month that does not attract bonus days it has to have a $90 increment um, in there so if you had a $180 order you would get two bonus days uh, vouchers but if you didn't have the two increments or whatever the increment is in your country um, I only just try and speak to the Australian because I don't have the hard copy information from Stampin' Up! for other markets. I only receive the information for the Australian market because that is the only market I can sell in. But if anyone does want to support me and... You can't buy Stampin' Up! products from me in Australia. I do have classes. And um, those classes globally can be accessed via purchasing my video tutorials and project sheet. I know a couple of you out there have uh, bought my classes. Candy has bought a number. And um, hopefully Candy can speak to um, how much she enjoyed them or found them easy to follow so you do get a, um, a video for each card and a project sheet with um, instructions and uh, not with instructions sorry the video is the instruction video vi the video is instructional the project sheet has measurements and products used Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, I am still here. You and Marley must have had a very quick walk. So this piece here, I think I'm going to do in Lemon Lolly. And then these leaves here, I think... Uh, no, I can't put them in that. But I can... No. Okay. I'm just trying to work out the final little um, 
pieces here. Bev, I did go live half an hour late because I had two, two appointments pretty much back to back this morning. Luckily, they were in the same area. Um, but yeah, I had two appointments today. Pretty much appointmented up at the moment, which has been annoying. The appointments get in the way of my crafting time, guys. Like, really. I know I have medical conditions that need monitoring and therapies and stuff like that. But seriously, my craft. Thank you. So, and for your $100, do you get a $10 voucher? So, thank you, um, Candy. I'm glad you find my um, classes helpful. So, they are only 10 Australian dollars, uh, my classes. And I know a lot of you girls who don't live in Australia um, have found them very useful. And I appreciate um, you purchasing them. My All my classes are still available to purchase. I do have in my description below um, the link to my classes page and that should take you through to a um, PayPal purchasing page. The only class that isn't ready to send at the moment is, sorry, this one's going to be a pain in my behind to do. Um, is my Christmas in July class, which is my golden greenery. Um, I have made the cards. I am, I've started the uh, project sheet, but I have not done the videos as yet. So they do normally go out um, in the first part of the month after that class. This last little bit, please, please swear in your brains because that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm swearing really hard because I can't hold this and cut at the same time because it is so small. Actually, if I hold there and if I all around there that that would do it okay and we're gonna have to come up with some kind of sentiment here okay so I've got this here got that there <laughs> Got that there. Are we happy with the balance? I essentially <laughs> sorry, that was in my mouth. It still is. Yeah. Okay. I essentially would love to cover like this one and this one. But let me see what I actually have. I don't have this one in this corner on this one. Um, am I missing a piece? I must be. I must be missing a piece. I've got all my scraps here. Aha, I found my corner. I found my corner. But that would mean two colours would be together. So that's not going to work. <sighs> I'm not 1000% happy with it. But I think this is as good as it is going to get. And 50 and a $6 voucher. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, so 50 and 5 and 60 and 6. Okay, great. Thank you. European, I have no idea. And the Europeans are all fast asleep. So that is as good as it gets for what we have done. So I want to, how are we going for time? We are pretty much an hour in and that was all stamping and cutting. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. 
I just couldn't be more organized with this one really okay so I just want to cut some of these edges that aren't looking perfect oh I need to take a little more than that because that's now a really janky edge okay what is this so this one I will have sitting about there and then this one how oh, is that edge that's okay and this one I will have sitting about there Ah, so this almost takes off those elements that I was having issues with up in this corner here. So I'm happy with that. These pieces can just go off to the side. So I've come down a full centimetre or half an inch from a full card front size. Okay, so got all of our pieces we want dimensionals and I think we are going to have to use both normal dimensionals and minis okay and we're just going to puzzle piece these guys this way okay and they're going to be popped up so it's going to make them a bit more prominent so let's Let's go. And then we'll have to get Miss Lavender's opinion of what she thinks. Because, you know, the most important, important opinion. <laughs> she always likes to see. I thought it was very sweet. She walked into the door from karate and wanted to see what we were all up to. So, love that. I just want to put a little bit of support there. And I've got this little piece here and I'll just pop one there. Yeah, one about there. Just because those edges are a little larger. Okay. And that they're all sitting pretty good. Okay. Uh, my take your pick tool with the crafters tips and I am going to put dimensionals on and stick down otherwise I want to reduce the pieces I have on my desk come on please come on thinking I might need another couple over here as well just because feeling it's a little uneven currently so like one there a lot of dimensionals is not going to hurt anyone or anything okay so Did anyone have any questions about my classes? So basically my classes do center around a bundle. So I did, I've done one on uh, sketched butterflies. I have done one on I haven't done cheerful daisies, I don't think. I've done textured floral. I've done hot air balloon. Um, what else have I done? I've done some celebrate. I did celebration class. This one, the one coming in August, will be layers of beauty. So I've done golden greenery. What else have I done? Did I do playing in the rain? I 
I'm not sure. There are heaps there. I'm just having mental blanks about what I have done. So we've got this one. And then I'm going to go in with this one. And the good thing is it's overlapping. So I do have plenty that I can trim off at the end of the day. But, and the um, videos are full, the full length, but I have done die cutting preparation. So they're not as long as these live videos. Um, I think the longest is like 40 minutes, but I do make the card uh, start to finish. Yeah, I know Maureen, I'm totally with you there definitely prefer more than not enough and even if I put it down and I feel I need more I do normally slide one in because that is normally something we can easily do okay now for the sentiment I thought we might keep it really simple and use the simply said set I know I've been using it a bit recently, but it is a fabulous and um, fabulous and simple sentiment set. So I'm gonna go this one next. Oh, this one up here is gonna be pretty hard. I think well, I may have to start working on my silicon mat because the dimensionals are coming off the edges so i think this one here because it's so tiny it's going to be stuck down i do wonder i'm actually going to put all the big elements on first and then we will see what to stick down and what not to stick down okay and you know what i could it maybe Oh, that one's exactly almost correct. Awesome. So I'll oh, probably use one big one and some mini ones on this one. Oh, do you know what, Bev? I am so hungry. I did have a protein ball during my travels, but my scrambled eggs are going to go down really nicely. Uh, when I get there after the video. <laughs> really, really nicely. I could sneak a lolly while I'm on, on video, but look, I am. I've got Natural Confectionery Company Party Mix. I'm going to grab a snake. Mmm. Oh, it's so yummy, guys. I'm so sorry I can't share them with you. Okay. So, this one is here. Perfect. They're looking so good. So happy with them. So this one is my friend here. Great. So everything is fitting perfectly because I knew for a couple of the pieces I need, um, I need it. Do you have eggs almost every day like me, Bev? Oh, I hope everyone's liking the fact I want to share my lollies. Because you know I would, if you were here in my craft room. I would share, I promise. Take them from down here. Someone's been a maniac and not used the whole row before they started the next row. How? How? You have to finish a whole row 
and then start the next row. I know a lot of you out there are random, but I'm just not that random person. I try to be random, but I'm much more ordered. And the reason I was even a few minutes late is because I had to write a to-do list of things I need to do this afternoon. <laughs> it's like, I need to write them down before my brain loses them. Okay. Now, these are not perfect, but I just wanted to get a different effect. So, the multicolored dimensional effect. Now, I've got these ones. Yep, that's, that works well. Awesome. So, I think I'm going to do a bit of a different tact here. I want to support this to the edge. I kind of want to go there and go there. Just let me check. Yep, that's good. And then just put a mini over here. Great. Don't always have to put the adhesive on the piece you're putting down. If you know where it's going, you can definitely put it on the project. And then all I have to do is line, line this up. I'm just going to flip this piece over the top. <clears throat> I thought I had another piece and I do. So this one just here. I'm going to do the same here. <coughs> going to use my minis. Thank you. Oh, you're totally... Oh, not every day. Chicken and salad. Nice, Bev. You're totally random, Bev. I just, I just can't commit to it. I just can't. Okay, so I want to split through here. I'm going to probably support just there in the corner and just in here. Okay, or I can pop on down there too because I haven't gone all the way down this is so fine and then I've got my last two pieces to add so sentiment wise am I assuming that we'll want to use something quite one of something quite thin put in your vote for which sentiment you would like me to use because this card can literally be for anything there's no theme coming out with this leaf collection stamp set. Okay. Okay, that can go there. Now, for these pieces, I think I can dimensional that one, but I really think this one needs to be... Uh, not dimensional. I just, it's just too fine. Okay, so down here. Up here. I think three is about all I am going to get but that's okay that should be more than enough okay pop that down that's perfectly uh, no that's fine 
Okay. I am not. Uh, could I? Could I fit a mini just there and do it? Just a note. Let's celebrate just a note. Okay. We are. No, I'm not using the bottom ones, Maureen. I'm using these top ones. So the thinner ones. So the Let's Celebrate, I think Bev got there first. Let's see. So colour-wise, what am I going to be stamping in? Do we think black? Sorry. I don't want to cover up too much of what I've done. So I'll probably put the Let's Celebrate through here, actually. Um, that's actually worked out quite well. That I've got that depressed. That sounds terrible. I have a non-dimensioned old. God, I can't even speak. I have a non-dimensional area to pop that in. Just trying to line that up as best as I can. Do you know what I could do? I'm actually going to lift this up. What did you lose, Dar? Oh, David's lost an AirPod under the lounge. Uh-oh. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut a strip off the edge. You can see here I have made a fringe. I've cut lots of strips. But I think that will just work perfectly and give us the right amount of balance okay that there is some uh, I think the thinking of you might just because it's on two lines candy might just cover up a bit more than what I'm willing. I'm really happy to go with the Let's Celebrate. Because I've created this lovely background and I do still want to be able to see the pool party. Uh, David is finally listening to the F1. That Lavender and I watched last night. <laughs> so David's got on loudspeaker. Okay, so that is our piece. But I'm now just going, oh, I didn't need that extra piece at all. But that's okay. As we said, more dimensionals are better than having saggy pieces. Okay. So we're just going to go around all these edges and cut. So card base. We've got our four colours. Does anyone want to hazard a guess as to what colour they think will look the best? Or do I just use something neutral? Okay, and I think I've just... Oh, no. I've just got to do these two pieces and we are all good for our base piece. Sometimes doing these kinds of projects is just so satisfying and it's okay to only make one card it doesn't have to always be making multiple projects so i won't need my silicon mat now or i shouldn't anyway of course all my pieces don't want to come off but i'll deal with those later so i could could do it that way 
or I could, I think I like it that way. Let's see if the let celebrate is too long actually. I may have to actually I think I might use the stamper uh, the stamp positioner and stamp it exactly like that. So let's bring this back in because that just fits a little too perfectly. So take this leaf collection stamp off. It sticks really, really well, guys. So I know this is dirty, but so it doesn't stick elsewhere. I'm just going to pop it back in the case. Right. So leaf collection finished. We'll just need my foam mat. And I knew that had magnetized to the bottom. Okay. So would you like to have a look at what I created with all those backgrounds? Yes. Yes, that's what I created. Only the one card? Only! Oh my god! Yeah, so the reason that you've been making cards really quickly. I know, but this is a statement card. Oh, it's a statement card? Well, just think, I had to hand cut every one of those pieces. Like so you're making know. a statement that you work, worked really hard on this card? Yes, I am making a statement that I worked really hard just on this card. Is that signed at Ellen Woodbridge card maker? All my cards have that on the back. Why are, you not, why are you putting it down without the ink? Because I'm lining it up. Oh. And I'm seeing that that is actually terribly crooked. So we're going to take two, actually. What I might do. I'm going to go fill my clothes. Oh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Have you done the kitchen? No, because I just got out of the shower. Okay, no problem. Now, a tip. If you have a T-square ruler, what you can oh, do... No, 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 no. What you can do is on the lid, use, your, use the T-square ruler and just... Actually, that isn't straight. Unfortunately, I have manipulated it so it's yeah I'm gonna have to take it off guys because when you manipulate it it especially with a long sentiment like this it does actually bend it so I'm just gonna do a rough check I think that is actually pretty good it's pretty much in the spot that I want I'm just gonna go for it because I don't think I'm going to get it much better than that so I said black ink my preferred sentiment black ink is stays on I just find it gives a beautiful crisp image if the ink doesn't kamikaze onto the floor. So I know I haven't used this Let's Celebrate before. So just run my finger over it. Now this is very, very fine. So I kind of want to do a light, but I want to do a soft transfer. So very, very lightly pressing. Now, I did just get the slightest amount of shadowing there, but we are going to press on because we just are. That is... That 
goodies in the corner. This is going to have... Oh, I've really stuffed it. That's fine. We are just going to use a strip, a thin strip of paper. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay. Okay. It's all good. If I can pick this up, my word. Okay. I'm just going to pop that stamp there. Grab my scraps. Take a strip of paper. Grab a block. I did. Hello, Miss Rose. I did use that. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's all good. All is good. Piece of paper. Only because it's inky. I've missed you, Miss Rose. Okay. Are you on holidays or are you just out on your lunch break? Okay. Give this... That can just stay like that for the moment. I'm just going to give this a test. That is good. I'm going to have to use my stays on cleaner to clean that up. And that is fine. So I'm going to use this other edge. And hope. I got this straight. I'm just letting that ink transfer. I didn't get it straight. There is another side to the piece of paper. It's all good. I don't think I got it straight again. Actually, yes, I did. I did, I did, I did. High five to me. No one else is in the room to give it to me, so I'll give it to myself. Ha ha. Right. <laughs> oh, I've got it. Look, this has been a labour of love. Um, I'm still unconvinced about what kind of card base I would like this on. Okay, I know I have cut that too far, but it was a little too hard to visualise doing it any other way. Oh, just the tinsiest bit more. This is where I want to do this, do that, no, what I want to do is I want to get out my guillotine and see if I can stuff up one of a bit. I say that with truth because and do you know what? I want to remove this guide for a second. Do you know what? It is too skinny for me to get it right. Because I trimmed it. Okay. Always good. That trimmer. Good idea. No cigar. I taught, oh, hand, hand, hand. What did? Oh, no, talking, talking is the reason to get it. Oh, between your old job finishing and starting a new job. Yay! Congratulations, Rose. I've been meaning to contact you. Does everyone, yes, we all talk to ourselves at Crafting and absolutely, because we all need our own expert advice. I was maybe even thinking, because we've got shadows here 
from our cutting is maybe using some smoky slate possibly now this better work yes 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 look i am not going to get that any closer if i try yes 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 happy 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 girl am i yes i am so the let's celebrate is going to go right there and do you know what that is still in keeping with what we've got it is going to go on dimensionals to keep in the keeping um would some rhinestones look right on this card or would the rhinestones be a step too far i'm giving you time to answer while i pop these on because that stamping nothing no one saw anything there nothing happened this was all planned from the start because i was actually going to do this and then i had a bright idea and yeah bright ideas aren't always the correct thing to do um talk to myself <laughs> thank you thank you maureen your finger crossing helped guaranteed okay get these off i'm thinking smoky slate or basic gray just to i don't know neutral that's all now we know this is fairly straight so I can just go in and uh, now I can't because I do need to tuck this under just a little bit because it is larger than what we were doing. Oh, do you know, actually, I have the perfect embellishment. So, these are actually Christmas embellishments. These are called uh, pearl, Cherry Cobbler and Pearl Berries. But I'm thinking the pearl, I will show you, the pearl in just the dots will look really lovely just around the sentiment. So I'm just going to use three and I think that will finish this perfectly because card without embellishments can sometimes be a little naked. Not that this one's naked, it is actually a very busy card, but I would just like to be able to draw your eye to the sentiment and these are going to work perfectly um, and one just up here love that love 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 oh thank you guys all for hanging in there with me because seriously this has been a labor of love and i actually really love it so let's grab oh my dear word have i made these i just i just refilled my um my design uh, my cardstock oh I'm not even trying anything else. Smoky Slate looks lovely. Just enough contrast, but it's not pulling away from everything. It's letting all those gorgeous colours, which are Calypso Coral. We've got Bubble Bath, Lemon Lolly, and Pool Party. Letting them sing. So give this a score 
Let me make sure it is an actual card base. Yes, it is. Making sure it wasn't too wide. Give this a here. Thank you. Ah, right. You like look, it was meant to be Maureen, as I as I said. This is what I originally planned. So the other bit happened to show you what not to do and the fact that it looks so much better this way. I had this glue open a lot yesterday during my class and it is a lot gunked up. And would you think how the three pins glue pins that I've got here that I could grab just one no because they're all glued together seriously I know that's what they are but I want them to work for me ha huh. hmm. don't know what that was but there we go that is now glued back up there Come on, please. I just proved that you were working. Oh, my dear word. Maybe it is empty. It is. No. No, it is not. Actually, I think it is running empty. Okay, we got the glue that we needed out. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, so has this encouraged you to maybe take the time, slow down, do some hand cutting and make a statement card? I know I don't always. I'm like, yeah, let's make a few cards. Bang, bang, bang. But I am really, really happy with how this turned out. I was a little worried about the colours to start off with. But I trusted the process because these four colours, without the black and the smoky slate, are from the Suttles family. So I knew if I got the balance right, they would work. So we started out, we stamped four sheets in the four colors using the leaf collection. Okay. I, we, or should I say, we decided to use a pool party for the base and cut out elements um, of the other colors to layer on top and then we added the let's celebrate sentiment as it always should have been on a separate piece of paper popped up I have pulled in the pearl and cherry cobbler and pearl berries which have these gorgeous dots i did in an order last week get two more packs of these because they are just gorgeous so they're available as an online exclusive um if you would like to see the ink pads and i use stays on for the sentiment so they are the colors trust me that is lemon lolly <laughs> oh Maureen you crack me up girl absolutely um popped it on a smoky slate card base just to keep things really really simple and that is my statement sorry for knocking everyone there that is my statement card thank you very much for hanging with me I do I've got a little bit of fluff I have no idea where it's from, but there we go. I got it. Wherever it was from, it is gone. So I love the support. Um, just hanging here, listening, listening to me rabbit on. Do not forget, we have free shipping today. The 
Tuesday the 23rd of July 2024 till midnight we have free shipping we also still have our bonus days going so you earn bonus days vouchers in July so um $90 in America, $100 in Canada, was it $70 in, let me scroll back and see if I can find, it's $90 in Australia, it's, maybe I've got it wrong. Okay, in your market, you will have a spend, um, $65, Rose, $65 is the minimum spend. Oh, thank you. I got these done for a show that I went to on Saturday night. And then I'm going to another show this Saturday night. These are my Christmas presents from last year that just happened to be um, two weekends in a row. So, yes, I got them done specially. I'm glad you love them, Jacinda. They're not quite, they're orchid. They're not actually a Stampin' Up! colour, because I did grab out our uh, Petunia Pop, and they're just not quite Petunia Pop. So, yeah, they're definitely more Orchid than Petunia Pop. So, yeah. Not, not any Stampin' Up! colour, but one of my favourites to get. Um, on my nails so I look forward to seeing you for my Christmas Stampathon project on Thursday which will be a um, YouTube live so have an amazing couple of days I will see you there and thank you so much for joining me any questions please ask shop link my class link because we spoke about all of that is in the description box have a good one bye